Hello guys, Glenn Anderson here. So another video for the fans. So I just wanted to let everyone know that uh, in November I should be doing my first Opens competition. So I'm just going to um, give you a quick overview of the events. Um, so uh, for those that follow my channel, um, I've done five strongman competitions so far. Three novice and two intermediate. Um, in this competition coming up there's... Um, obviously novice inters and opens and they've got first timers and they've got all four categories in here uh, it's the same competition I did last year strongest in the south you can find that video on my channel uh, I did it in October 2021 so you'd have to go back about 10 months to find it or 11 months because it's September now uh, right so last competition I did October um, I got third place in an intermediate um, so in this one I was contemplating whether to do inters or opens uh, but since I podium in the inters chances are I'm going to go straight for the opens ok so the first event is barbell floor to overhead for, you get a 60 second time limit base for max so you get 3 attempts at each weight so for example I might do 120 kilos on my first attempt you get 60 seconds to complete the lift. You're not allowed to drop it though. Once it's above your head, you have to like place it down and keep your hands on the bar. Otherwise, it's a no lift. Uh, so, for example, I could do 120, 130, 140. Um, but I'll probably... I mean, I'll see where I am at the time. I've got no idea what kind of weight I'm going to do for that at the moment. See how this little uh, training block goes in the run-up to the competition. Uh, my best for that though is 136 kilos or 300 pounds so it'll be interesting to see if I can better that the next event is the frame carry in the opens it's a 300 kilogram frame now at World's Longest Man it's normally about 375 so 300 that's quite a heavy frame uh, the last time I did a frame competition in the Nintos it was 240 so this is a 300 frame so that'll be interesting the next one is a raised axle deadlift on wheels Brit style in the opens, it's 280, so it's a 280 kilo axle deadlift for reps. It'll be at standard height or slightly below the standard height, so it's going to be tough. Um, the next event is bag toss. And for the opens, you have to throw five bags, the lightest of one being 18 kilos, then 20, 22, 24, and the heavy sandbag being 26 kilos, so this is going to be tough. They haven't specified what the height is going to be. Um, I'm guessing around 4 metres because that's normally what it is and then the last event is a sandbag over yoke medley so 3 sandbags um, in the opens 100 kilo sandbag you have to lift that and put it over the yoke bar then 120 kilos and then finish with 140 kilos again they haven't specified the height but I'm guessing it's going to be around sternum height or chest height so those are the 5 events um, for the strongman competition uh, it's, I haven't actually signed up to the comp yet it's not definite that I'm going to do it I need to be absolutely certain I can get the time off but it's very likely that that's the competition that I'm going to do next I want to make it a plan to do at least one a year and it's 2022 and I haven't done a single comp at all this year uh, there was one in August I was going to do but unfortunately I couldn't get the time off and I, hadn't, I was still doing a restoration phase at the time so um, I could have gone in and done it, but I hadn't really peaked for it, so there's no telling uh, how my performance would have been, even if I had been able to do it. Okay, so, last like I say, it's not for definite I'm going to do it, but it's that's very likely. Um, I mean, I could do the inters, but that starts at 9am. The opens doesn't start till 12. So, um, it's very likely that I'm going to do the opens. First of all, two reasons, I get more time in bed. Uh, it's quite a way to go, it's about 40 miles, so um, to wake up, have something to eat and get there, I would have to get up pretty early, like 6am or something, I'm not really a morning person. Whereas at least if I do the opens, I can get a bit more sleep in, a bit more late. And also, um, with the, for example, with a deadlift, uh, in the inters it's 240, in the opens it's 280. Now the last time I did an inters, I had to do nine reps with 240 kilos and I think uh, the winning lift was like 11 reps 10, 11, 11 reps so if I do the inters in order to win I'm going to have to do 11 or 12 reps to win I would rather do 280 and have to do less reps to be honest um, 
and the, the heavier weights will just suit me because my strength is better than my fitness to be honest because uh, if you give me a lighter weight there's probably going to be plenty of other guys that can do it quicker than i can but when it comes to um, heavy that's where i sort of like get the edge um me and uh, two lads were doing a yoke um run and when the weight was light they was actually beating me they was faster than me but when it got heavy they couldn't keep up with me so um i think i'll just have a better time to be honest uh if I do the open, so it's very likely that I'm going to do the open. It will be my first open competition, and to do an open competition as a natural competitor, that's, um, that's I don't think that's too bad going actually. So um, yeah, like I say, that's very likely. So um, got a couple of months to train for it. It's on November the sixth, which I believe is a Sunday. So it's going to be three days after my birthday. On November the third, I turn forty-one years old. So it'll be three years, three days after my birthday. So do my next competition I'll be 41 years old so I'm a masters man there as well as an opens man but anyway that's it that's um what I'm likely to be doing okay so uh thank you guys for watching and uh I'll see you soon for some more vids